Hello all you folks out there in YouTube land. You may have seen my recent challenge to Jason Burns. I did that in large part to express my contempt for him and his bumbling attempt at conflating atheism with sexism. Let me make something entirely clear here. I have never seen anything more sexist than the attitude currently on display there. Well, except for that on display by some of the louder feminists to grace the world today. I'm going to say this once, and once only. I don't need your feminism. It's hard enough being a woman in any time period, and this one is better than most, at least in the first world. I have been feeling more than a little put out by the actions of the likes of Gail Dines, Anita Sarkozyan, Michelle Obama, and others with that attitude of, we need to force the men to do the work for us, and then make them treat us as equals. Don't get it both ways. Either you're equal to men, or you can be treated like a China doll. You're seeing sexism and misogyny where it does not exist or exists in very small clusters. Women getting raped on college campuses? Yes, that's a problem, but not to the degree where we need to create a hostile environment to everyone that hasn't been raped. It's a problem everywhere, not just on campus. We teach men from the cradle not to rape, and for nearly all of them, it works pretty well. You're making a political issue out of what might happen to my body. Bad form, feminists. I don't need you to speak for me. I can do just fine for myself. It's getting to the point where just the word misogyny is destroying the lives of men. Little boys as young as four or five being arrested for sexual harassment because they hug the girl on the playground? This is a thing. Children that age don't see hugging as sexual. They see it as something they do. Mum hugs me. She's a girl. This girl is nice to me. I'll hug her. It's a hug. It's not sexual to the child. The adults are projecting sexuality onto them. The children aren't hypersexual, they're just getting a hug. The girl doesn't see it as inappropriate, it's just a hug. There is sexism, I will not deny it. It is inherent in the behavior of both genders from the time puberty rolled in, and ends at the moment of death. Our mating rituals don't function without it. The sexes are different, as the lack of men giving birth can attest. As a sexually demorphic species, there are physical differences between us that aren't going to go away because the feminists and their allies want T to be a social construct. For example, I'm not as strong as Kage, but I'm faster on my feet, and have better hand-eye coordination. Tiny hands mean I can get into spaces he can't. He's fine most of the time, and when he's not, then someone lends a hand, or a foot, or on rare occasions, some other bit. If we work together, we can do nearly anything we set our minds to. The same thing goes for any sort of cultural change. If you work with the other side rather than antagonize them, then you get true acceptance. Before Anita Sarkisian began the professional victim routine in the gaming community, we were slowly working our way towards complete acceptance. Most places I went to over the last decade and a half or so had the odd asshole, but mostly it was a one huge meritocracy. If you did well, you were acknowledged. If not, you worked until you got there. Nobody cared if you had breasts or a cock, what color your skin was, or even if you were from 61 Pegasus IB, as long as you could play. When Anita arrived on the scene with her whining victim routine, a lot of women, myself included, found themselves back at the bottom of the pile and having to prove ourselves all over again. Some stayed despite the backlash, but I did not. I sold my consoles and walked away from it for more than a year. It stopped being fun, and every man I ran across was either offering to protect me or terrified of me because there's a female voice pinging the mic that lights up my gamma tag. Anita, do us all a favor, and shut up. No, really. I've seen your collection of videos, and your actions are unacceptable. You're teaching feminism 101 in those things, and we don't need that. You attack writers and damsels in distress. Artists in Ms. Male character, then writers and designers both in women as background decoration. Your activities in that Hitman game are particularly egregious, as the best way through that particular mission doesn't even go there. The player isn't invited to do this, in fact they're penalized for it. Part of being able to explore an environment is the ability to do less than optimal things, but that isn't an invitation to do sexist things, it's an opportunity to screw up. You caught shit after you or someone pretending to be you spammed several places on 4 Kion. You should have expected that, and I'm almost certain that not only did you expect it, 
but you were in fact hoping for it. It gave you the perfect opportunity to play the victim card. I want to see the threats you told Twitter you received, yet somehow managed to forget to inform the police of. On home wasn't that good, and contrary to popular belief, the patriarchy doesn't exist in the West. It hasn't in a long time. In the absolute patriarchy you describe, you would never have been let near a camera, let alone be able to spew that bullshit all over the internet. If you want a place to fight the patriarchy, to go to the Middle East and Africa. If you want equality as you claim, then you have to take the good with the bad. That includes seeing these things in games. Red Dead Redemption takes place in a time period where women were legally chattel nearly everywhere, and that sort of thing did happen on an alarmingly regular basis. Where I live, I can walk down the street in exactly what I'm wearing right now, and aside from a scowl or six from women along my route and the odd bit of attention from the men, I am entirely safe in public places. After dark, I'd put on a bit more, if only because this would be chilly. Yes, there's a higher chance of being the victim of a crime out at night, but it's always been that way. Thieves, rogues and other lowlifts congregate in the night, as it's harder to observe them committing crimes. Dress reasonably conservatively unless you're on the prowl, and wear a jacket when you leave the bar. Drink responsibly, and watch the bartender make your drink. If you simply must look away from the bar or table, pick up your drink and keep it in front of you. A little diligence on your part can foil the nasty people. Really, be confident. Don't walk around alone at night in something that's easy to take off, and you're probably going to be just fine. If there's someone out there that's going to hurt you because it's you, then you're still in danger. But the random crazies will move on to targets that are being thick. A hundred years ago, I wouldn't leave my house except to go down to the shops, and at that point the women's suffrage movement had already begun. Especially if I went anywhere in a bikini. Things are better now. If a crime is committed against me, I can call the police and be heard. I can go before a court of law with my head held high, knowing that I can defend myself against a defense attorney. Equal protection under the law. You say there aren't enough women making games or in industry. Way too many men, right? Riddle me this, how many women are even applying? How many of those are qualified? How many did you scare off with your victim narrative? How much damage have you done? You drove many female gamers right out of the market. Many of those that remain cluster in little gangs waiting to be issued the mail in the random matchmaking so they can reduce the poor bastard to tears. With all of this crazy shit going on, it's no wonder the men started their own movement. We do get privilege over them in several ways. Not the least is the seeming ability to whine our way into favorable legislation. Due process in cases of alleged sexual assault have already gone out the window and plummeted to the pavement 10 kilometers below. You want custody of your kids from the drugged up drunken bitch that gave them birth? Fuck off, says feminism. You're a man, and therefore incapable by virtue of being male. How about you little girls shut up for a moment and let the man make his case? We don't talk about the removal of body parts at birth. Kage says he will address that one personally, and I'm inclined to let him. He does, after all, have a vested interest in the matter. He seemed to have gone on a bit longer than I'd intended, and gotten over-emotional as well. So I'm going to let it go at that, and hope that I don't need to do this again. For all of you out there, no matter who you might be, stay safe. I'll see you back here soon for another video.